Hello friends, Eli here from Mystic Circuits. Today I want to show you about using the clock input and using external clock sources to achieve interesting sampling effects. Because the clock signal goes through the internal comparator, a complex signal with a lot of overtones will create a complex pulse train going into the sample and hold. This in conjunction with the pulse width control allows for all sorts of downsampling effects which are responsive not just to the frequency of the clock but also the timbre. In this patch, the audio input is a mangrove and just about the most vanilla triangle wave sort of sound that I could get it to. The clock input is a sheep wavetable oscillator, which will allow us to hear how changing the wave of the clock will result in all sorts of different timbres. The clock signal expects a 10 to minus 10 volt signal, and since sheep's is a bit lower than that, most of the useful range for the pulse width control is right in the middle of the knob. I'll just mess around with this patch for a bit and let you listen. The resonance control also still works in this mode. <laughs> While using the external clock, the internal oscillator is still usable at the output, allowing you to use it to frequency modulate the sheep in this circumstance. interesting results in the morph mode with the high pass <laughs>
I'll show you this effect using the mangrove as the audio input, or rather mangrove as the clock, and sheep as the audio input. I'll use it as a stereo pair with the sample and hold and the morph outputs each going to a separate ear. Uh, yeah. As you can see, using complex internal clock sources opens up the spectrum area to a whole other universe of sampling effects. Thank you for watching. <laughs>